Frieza was also one of the characters that was like a really, really good support, but then there was also Bo 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 Bo. Uh, wait, did I say that? Bo 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 Anyway, check this out, guys. So today we are talking specifically about Jump Force. And if you can't tell from the title and the thumbnail, I am super excited for the possibility of Endeavor in this bitch. Now, let me give you some backstory, okay? I'm not the biggest My Hero fan. I'm not the biggest out there. I'm not saying that I don't like the show. I love it. I think it is one of the best shonen to come out in a while. That's only to say because I like the characters so much. If it wasn't for the characters, I would not be down with the show at all. But the characters are dope, the show is funny, and it manages to really give me this like, just a little tiny bit of this 90s nostalgia vibe, okay? Now, if you guys know me, you know I'm an old head, okay? So I spend a whole lot of time praising 90s and early 2000s anime, from Cowboy Bebop to Eye Shield to uh, G Gundam, like the real, real classics, okay? Samurai, Samurai Champloo, we're talking Big O, like all of the original shit that y'all was probably too young to even understand. Okay, so let me, let me, let me, let your boy school you on Jump Force history a little, a little bit, okay? So now, if you are somebody like me, of my age, when I was in middle school and in high school, we used to play on our Nintendo DS's, okay? Now, I know I'm dating myself here because, Jay, they've had like 19 of those since then. Yes, they have. But, hear me out. There used to be this little cartridge, okay, that you could get and download just about any game ever onto it. Any game on the Nintendo platform, of course. There were N64 games that you could play, you could play Pokemon Red and Blue, and now this thing was called an R4, so you would put it in there and you would obviously have the games downloaded ahead of time. We used to play this game called Shonen Jump All-Stars. Now, this was a game me and my friends used to love to play. The only problem was me being a man of culture, black culture specifically, I couldn't read the damn thing because it was in Japanese. Now, I remember first, second, and third period, I had four of my my friends and like we all sat around. Like we were the hybrid like weirdo kind of jock kids. Like I, my ninth grade year of high school, I was on the football team. I also hung out with like band people. I also hung out with the basketball team. Like there was just so many things. Like I was that person that would hang out with everybody probably because I was also a hustler and everybody was like, yeah, yeah, you cool to hang out. But anyway, that's another story for another day. So check this out. This game was one of the first crossover games I've ever played. Now it had over like 90 different characters to play from. And the gimmick of the game was on the bottom screen of your DS, you had manga panels that you would select. And so putting the manga panels in there, the manga panels on the, on the bottom uh, got broken up into different sections. Now, depending on what character you played or how powerful that character was, you actually got to rearrange the things on the bottom. So this was my first time really experiencing an anime mashup game on the on the DS. It was amazing, it was so much fun. I remember putting Ichigo and Shippuden Sasuke on the same team and they would have Naruto as a support. And like, I think Frieza was also one of the characters that was like a really, really good support. But then there was also Bo 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 Bo. Uh, wait, did I say that? Bo 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 um, what was that other one? J-Star's Victory Versus. Now, this was another game that I was just perplexed. I was baffled. Why would they go with this specific treatment of like game? I don't understand why they chose to do Unreal Engine. I don't understand why they chose to put the characters that they put in there. Licensing was a little bit different. I was expecting Claymore to eventually get in there, but no, 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 no. We didn't get none of that, okay? So, and once again, as an old head of anime, I'm expecting to see money being thrown at this game. Now, I come from a time where our most hyped game at the time for anime was Naruto uh, Clash of Ninja, was it Clash of Ninja? No, Ultimate Ninja 3 was probably like one of the hypest games right next to Dragon Ball Tenkaichi. 
like those two franchises really established like where my positioning was as far as like anime when I was a kid. I was like, oh, this shit is pretty dope. I'm excited to play these games. So going into this new game, I didn't really understand why J Stars took it the way that it was taking it. Like, especially when you could have just made the game like three kind of really establishes spending a lot more money than you actually have to when you can just go with cell shading. Like cell shading at the time was like, yo, this is when the first Borderlands and the second Borderlands had already come out. There were other games that had established, like even if you look to like most JRPGs, they do it really well. They even do like three dimensional JRPGs really well with cell shading that look like actual comic pages, like manga panels. So I just don't understand why they didn't go with that. There just wasn't enough characters in that game. So it was something to me where I was like, okay, we get it. The game is very like base core, like bare bones, fundamental, and then they'll add on later. So it was very bare bones in the regards that like, it was like, oh, well, we're going to get one hero. We're going to get one protagonist, one antagonist for every series that we're going to put. Now, the reason why I specifically talk about My Hero Academia is because if you didn't know, which you should probably Google it, My Hero Academia is actually licensed specifically by Shonen Jump. It is a Shonen Jump property, which J Stars, Jump Stars Victory Versus, like all of these games, Shonen Jump games. So I don't see how it's a little too far off to get My Hero Academia characters in this game. Not to mention, it is one of the most popping animes out right now so i believe that this day and age and the only reason why i make an excuse for this and hold me to this please the only reason why i make the excuse that this can still happen is remember a long time ago actually not that long ago let's just go ahead and think back to when we thought spider-man was never gonna be in the avengers now i say this because that was probably one of the most difficult trade negotiation deals to ever exist ever we're talking like NATO meetings, we're talking like World War One and Two negotiations, like this ain't, like this is the number one thing. Really, when I think about it, I'm just like, yo, if they can figure out how to take Spider-Man from Sony and put it in the MCU, I don't see why a character that is currently licensed by this publisher cannot be in this video game. Now, I will say this, to speak against myself, this is the exact same reason why J-Star's Victory Versus didn't have Super Saiyan Blue, didn't have Golden Frieza, didn't have Hokage Naruto, didn't have uh, Wandering Sasuke. Like a lot of these characters at the time, yes, they had already existed in their respective universes and they already existed in their respective franchises, movies, everything else. Boruto had pretty much been like established at this point at the beginning. Let me tell you guys, sometimes we want to either do A, we're gonna add on to DLC, but that can't be right for this particular scenario because there are only, uh, correct me again if I'm wrong, uh, once again in the comments, which I don't care, uh, there's confirmed to be only eight additional DLC characters. So I think that's a little strange considering there are what, 15 animes in this one? But this all goes back to licensing, of course. What do we want to license? Well, we can license regular Goku, Super Saiyan Goku, because Shonen Jump had access to that around that time, around the Frieza saga. Right after that, they had branched out into publishing Dragon Ball everywhere. Licensing probably would have been an issue. And it's just like, well, this new stuff, it's gonna be a completely different deal. If you want Super Saiyan Blue in the game, we're gonna have to establish a few rules. Now, I'm gonna reference something that a lot of people don't really care for, okay? And it's the whole Smash Bros versus PlayStation All-Stars debate. Now, you can have whatever opinions you want, but I don't fucking care. I'm gonna let you know right now. PlayStation All-Stars is it. So, check this out. It's very similar to the way when PlayStation All-Stars got acquired from Superbot after they went under, they were acquired by Sony Santa Monica. Now, in that transaction, Sony Santa Monica then decided to take it up as the now developer and publisher of the game, they're like, you know what? We're gonna make a few buffs and a few nerfs, specifically to Kratos and Zeus. Now, this made the game even more unplayable than it already was, okay? And trust me, I was like one of the spearheading people in this community, at least as far as SoCal. So 
it was one of those things where like, oh, well, we don't have the license nor the authority to touch any other character, so we're just gonna buff our own. So I use that as an example to say, well, maybe Toriyama, Kishimoto, Kubo, all these other really popular like mangaka and like anime like creators and stuff really just uh, you know what just take it but don't do anything weird with it so there are certain liberties that you can and cannot do in licensing much like how brand deals work for movies so certain movies will be okay for certain brands whereas some of them won't like pepsi and coca-cola they will not be in horror movies anything that is slasher or anybody getting spied on or any type of like mass murdering stuff they're not really going to be a part of and if they are it's usually through fair use or it's usually through okay we'll give you permission but just for these specific sections so that's pretty much how that works so if you're able to put such barriers on when it's okay and when it's not okay to use something i completely understand why uh j force let's call it that wouldn't have access to super saiyan blue uh you know the new aizen new ichigo which i'm actually surprised all of these characters have actually made it so i present all of this to say there is really no reason why we can't have my man endeavor in, <laughs> in jump force okay because the fact that it's owned and published by Shonen Jump, which this is a Shonen Jump game, it's not that big of an issue to see this character in the game. But I'm interested to know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Um, it, is this just wild? It's just wild for me to think about? Like, Jay, there's no possible way we can do this. Let me know. <laughs>